sake of uh, making it visual, I'm going to use one of our one point lessons on how to create smart tasks uh, that sits on our, on our technology platform. So um, thanks for that, Pierre. This is good. So the tools that Pierre's explained, including the code of conduct, will be shared after the webinar with all of you in attendance. So looking at this, the smart task story, ultimately, we want to increase the percentage of tasks that are essentially closed on time for each meeting. This is really our measure of how effective we are at getting things done. Now, if we talk specifically about uh, smart tasks, we're looking at the, the SMART acronym. So it's really looking at being specific about the task. So use an action noun or a verb in the task statement. Um, identify one person, assign the task to one person, not to two, because then there's a bit of confusion as to who's responsible for the task. And then ensure that the deliverable statement is written uh, in the task title and it's not, um, and it's, it's not ambiguous. Okay, make sure it's very clear in terms of what's expected. So that task has got to be super simple to read, absolutely action driven. Okay, the, the M part is, is, is going to be measurable. So ultimately, we have to ensure that each, each task itself has an outcome that can be measured. So we can say with certainty, yes, that task was done or the task was not done. So it can't be very ambiguous, let's say, with reference to the one above in terms of is this class, is, is this being actioned or not? Okay, so it's got to be measurable and got to be very specific in terms of whether it's closed or not. Achievable, of course, this is, this is probably the, one of the biggest, uh, the biggest challenges, I'd say, when logging tasks is making sure they're achievable. Often people want to take on too much. They believe that their plate is not as full as they think it is, and they want to add on more to their plate. So people essentially have to be able to have the time to complete that action. And within the meeting, they've got to be real with whether they actually have the time or not to, to, to sort that action out. So... Achievable also deals with breaking these tasks down um, into smaller bite-sized chunks. Okay, so you don't want to create a task that is a massive mammoth, okay, um, you know, a mini project if you want, but rather broken down into achievable, short uh, sort of interval control tasks. It's got to be relevant. That's the next part. That's the R in SMART. Relevant meaning, and specifically in the meeting, don't come up with tasks that are irrelevant to the topic being discussed at that very point. Follow the agenda and task as needed according to the topic at hand, okay? Obviously, under general, things can be then raised as additional tasks that perhaps need to be logged during the meeting. And of course, the last one, the T part is time bound, okay? A due date must be assigned to a task. If there's no due date, the task is not gonna get done. That's a fact. And often with meetings, if it's a weekly meeting, we'd normally just schedule the due date for the next meeting unless it's, it needs to be done before that. Because that's just, you now you understand the SMART acronym, the success factors, I'm not going to go through all of them, but essentially assigning the task to one responsible person, that is key. People won't be able to close their tasks unless they need stuff from other people or they're relying on somebody else that has also been assigned that task. So assigned to one person for, per task. Limit the time horizon. So keep the time horizon short, weekly at least, or daily. Don't put a task uh, for a few months to come, or at least in a month's time. It's very unlikely that that task is going to be completed and you're going to come back to it and it's going to be overdue and there's going to be stories around it. Um, again, breaking the work down into achievable bits, that is very key. Don't, don't take on too much because the task then feels too much to get around and people just won't get it done. So breaking it down to, into bite-sized chunks is, is key. Some of, the, some of the do's and don'ts okay, around smart task acronym or logging smart tasks, again, also, uh, make sure that you, you're assigning tasks to people that are in that specific meeting. If it's to be done by somebody else outside that meeting, then task the person that would be responsible for making sure that other person would do the task. Okay, so don't task people that are outside the meeting because the chances are that they may not be notified of that task. Define the task. Okay, be very explicit. So we've got some examples here. So instead of, so instead of have a brainstorming session, we say organize brainstorming session on the 3rd of April. So we can see a couple of things in there. There's a verb, let's say an action noun that we mentioned before. It's in that statement. And there's, there's town bound. The next one down, provide feedback on. We should say provide feedback on instead of look into and decide on instead of discuss. So you can get the feeling for uh, what, we're trying to, what we're trying to achieve with smart tasks. Set due dates for the next meeting. As mentioned, having a short time horizon for your meetings. Don't, no, don't choose a distant fuzzy future or no due date for the task. And then ultimately, 
we don't want to be mo logging multiple tasks that require small, and we don't want to be logging tasks that are too big, as mentioned, like a mini project, rather get down to the bite size chunks, of you, as we've mentioned. And then obviously, lastly, show evidence of closure. There's got to be some sort of attachment, an email, a message, whatever the case may be, but show that, there, that there's some sort of evidence that the task is being completed. Pierre, do you, do you want to add anything? Well, uh, Greg, actually, it's critical for our guests uh, to understand that for any meeting, the task is actually the smallest unit of change. And every time the task is closed, we alter the, the current reality and we move the organization into a desired di direction. So the rate of closure of tasks on time is really a measure of both accountability for the people and agility of the organization. So tasks matter. <laughs> Over to you. All right, thank you, good. I think that's, uh, that counts a lot to our attendees. Thanks, Pierre. So now we've had these, we've got these tools now. We've been introduced to these tools. Now let's go and redo the meeting, the Shazam weekly operations meeting using some of these tools. We're going to be uh, using our, our technology platform that we use that our, us and our customers use to manage their meetings called TeamPage. All right, good. So let's, let's go over to, over to Pierre to start the good meeting, please.